So feeling the beautiful oxygen coming into your body, feeding your muscles, exhaling any doubt, really waking up that parasympathetic nervous system. That's the one that heals. That's the one that the digestive system relies on. The sympathetic has its purpose, but we're way too much in that. And that's the flight or fight and everything shuts down just for simple survival, which is great, it's needed, but we don't need to be there all the time. It inhibits the body's natural functioning of everything else. So that's why the yin and the breath and the calmness, the intention, the meditative moments are so key to the immune system and to healthy living. Maybe start exploring your own personal mantra, trying to dismiss the thoughts that we regularly have that typically center around criticizing ourselves or others. We spend an enormous amount of time not even realizing how much we're just criticizing, which has this heavy accumulative effect on our psyche and on our health. And so if we intentionally begin to bring these positive thoughts in with each inhale, perhaps, I am loved, I forgive myself, I exhale, I release doubt, uncertainty, I inhale, beauty and peace, I exhale, sending forgiveness and love out to all from myself into the world. I inhale and recognize the beauty of Mother Earth. That's an enormous gift. I receive my gifts with every inhale. I exhale and release anything that does not lift my spirit, my body, my health, my thoughts. I am loved. I am peace. Just finding one that really resonates with you. And every inhale brings more of the beautiful energy, words, meditations. Every exhale just releases anything stagnant, opens up room for you to inhale the new, the fresh, the healing. Staying here, staying with your breath, settling in, feeling yourself. Just really start to ground in and feel the safety and security as your body relaxes, 
prepares to open up and relax into these yen poses. It's officially start time for class. So just stay here another minute or so and legs up the wall. Next inhale, just bring all this big oxygen back into your chest. Maybe you're open your arms up really wide. A couple of breaths here. Make it deep, make it loud. <sighs> Maybe stick your tongue out. And then let your legs just open up wide against the wall. Begin opening up the muscles on the inside of your thigh. Bring that air into your chest. Beautiful oxygen, exhale. Ah, maybe bring the feet together in a cobbler pose against the wall. Just opening up a little here. We're gonna move into butterfly once we get off the wall, but just gently kind of opening a little bit here already. Then close the knees and any props, just remove them or roll over. Fatal position, side of choice. Couple of breaths here. Staying with that beautiful parasympathetic nervous system, knowing you are safe. And gently lifting up. Taking your time, your practice. Definitely yin, just taking time, moving slowly into poses, bringing the feet together. Let's just try a little cobbler pose here and then we'll move into butterfly. If you have props, have them nearby. I have a bolster. Um, if you don't have bolsters, you can uh, wrap a couple of blankets, rolling them together to make kind of a homemade or towel bolster when we'll recline into butterfly. But before we do into Baddha before we do, let's just Come into cobbler, bring those heels in close. Nice big inhale, open up the chest, open up the shoulders, feel this nice activation. So we're not melting here right yet. We're gonna straighten and really feel the energetic alignment of this, this pose, lowering the knees. And let's just hinge forward a little bit, slowly, wherever you are, just, and then melt a little bit here. <sighs> Breathe. Good. Wherever you are. Just a healthy challenge. That's the way of success in yoga, in life. Breath plus healthy challenge, opening up your body. So keep that breath flowing and you'll find yourself just sinking a little more. Don't push it. If you wanna just fold and relax and breathe and melt here, Stay with that personal mantra. 
listen to your breath, maybe bring in that ujjayi breath, that ocean breath. It helps calm you and it helps keep you focused on your breath, your intention, and your mantra. Mantra is just a phrase. Make it a personal mantra, a personal life-inspiring phrase. Create a new one every day or stick with the same one. A couple more breaths here. <sighs> Slow, full ones. Then maybe reach your fingers out for a couple of breaths, stretching. You want to wiggle in, just kind of get that spine. Slide your fingers out, wiggling. Ribs back and forth, just nice big inhale. And then on your exhale, exhale with a core, drag those fingers slowly coming back up. Let's bring our feet before we move into the Baddha Konasana, the butterfly reclining. Let's just do a little nice waking up of the spine. So in easy seated, take your hands and either put them on your knees or your ankles. And let's just do a little nice morning spinal flex. So just start slow. Keep, keep the core active in this. Just to make sure that as you're warming up and getting that spine you know, to wake up that you're protecting it with the core. Core muscles wrap around the bones so you don't want to work the bones as much as you want to strengthen the bones by wrapping the muscles around that muscle or the core. It's just, and the glutes, the glutes, it all connects together and protects your back. That's why we'll do a lot of my classes, a lot of exercise firing up the glutes. That's very important for your back. Now, if your hands aren't on your knees, move them there and let's do a nice supus grind. So slowly first, and then you can pick up the pace however you want. Pace. <laughs> I'm trying to talk you today. But in the starting out slow, just explore all the different degrees. Because sometimes, you know, we'll move from zero to 50 or zero to, you know, whatever, and we miss like the five, 10. And there's good stuff in there that, you know, oh, wow, I, I didn't notice that at 10 degrees here, I need to just hang out and stop and let that work that out. Yeah, explore your body, explore this pose and the, the motion, and then reverse when you're ready. And then once you feel like you've kind of checked in with all the varying degrees of the 360 circles, then you can, you can pick up the pace or it's your practice, do what feels good. Mm -hmm. And then when, when you're done with that, let's just straighten spider fingers out, the lift the hands with activation in the arms. So let's just go ahead and just kind of feel this, tighten up the skin, why not? Add a few things just for, you know, beauty and full activation. Open up that chest, inhale, and bring those arms up. Feel the active arms, feel that skin tightening, the air coming in, oxygen, fingers together. Reach and press the shoulders down. And let's just stay here. Oh, big inhale. Maybe the hands come together, maybe they're a little open, but try to align the arms with the ears. Just bringing in breath here. You might want to try tightening up that mulban, that's that kegel muscle. So connecting that with the Uddiyana Bandha, that navel, that core. So bringing pelvic floor health and protecting the back. While we bring the oxygen in, press the shoulders down. Feel it all the way in the back, the lats, the shoulder blades. And then release the hand down. Take the right hand on the outside of the left thigh and twist as you straighten. Bring those band bandas, those bands in. Straighten the spine and twist. Roll the eyes around. Let's exercise those eye muscles. Feel that core as you straighten. Holding here.
gently releasing. Moving slowly to the other side, left hand on the outside, the right thigh, position yourself. Straighten with a nice inhale, exhale, twist and roll your eyes like you did before and hold. This bond is in, keep wrapping those beautiful muscles around the spine, lengthening, straightening, supporting your lower back. Open the shoulders up as you warm into this. You can find your right shoulder moving back a little more. Inhale, bring that oxygen in. Give the muscles what they need. Give them the oxygen they need so they can strengthen, expand. One more breath. Gently coming forward. And right now it might feel good just to, with core, with all those bondages, just to come forward a little bit. In this easy seated, stretching, you know, wiggle out, moving your shoulders, kind of feeling yourself grounded in, just sort of wiggle in here. Smile. Next inhale, drag the fingers back. Once you get here, roll the shoulders up and around. Open the chest and you bring the hands in this. Open and reverse. Exhale. Inhale. And enjoy the awkwardness when we reverse. It's super good for the brain to switch out this. That's why it's awkward. We're so used to just automatically going one way, one way, one thing to the other. Wait a minute. And it's very healthy, good for the memory, great for the brain. So let's go ahead and move into a Baddha Konasana. Like I said, if you have towels or blankets or whatever, or you can just lay back down pillows, just lay on the, on the floor, um, whatever works for you. Typically in class, we would have a bolster, maybe put a block underneath to lift it up. So that's just wherever you are. So this is typically kind of where we'd be with this butterfly. And if you have a blanket, your instructor maybe would have told you to fold it. I'm too impatient to do that beautiful fold. So I usually just twist it. <laughs> as you bring your feet together and just wrap it around, cross it over in the back, just to hold your feet together and let you relax and sink. Because you know, the yin poses, the work happens when you melt. So yang, you're firing it up, you're active, you're just really getting those muscles just worked and fired. Yin, you release and let gravity in the pose just open and melt and stretch the fascia. So just finding a way to support the pose if you need to Roll up anything behind your thighs so you can completely melt. And then lower in, open up the chest. Oh, this should feel wonderful. This is kind of a restorative yin, super healthy. Great for that parasympathetic nervous system. Heart opening when the arms are open. So you've got this hip opener, heart opener. And bring the breath in, returning to intentions. We'll just hang out here for about three minutes. Enjoy. <sighs> Let a smile fall on your lips, knowing everything is going to be exactly as it was meant to be. Living perfectly, an authentic life, filled with peace and compassion, starting with yourself, your mind, your body, your soul. Every exhale shares your being with the world. Every inhale connects you with the world, with the earth, knowing we're all part of God's creation. <sighs>
One more minute. Begin taking your breath deeper. In, exhale. Go ahead and begin coming out of this. If you want to roll over to one side and wiggle out of the blanket, off your props, however you had everything set up, just pushing it aside. And let's come back up in, in seated. And just, let's go ahead and do just a little neck work here. So neck up and down, chin to chest. Make sure that spine is really straight. And then rolling from the right, half circles over and around, right shoulder. I'm not instructing to do full circles because everybody's neck's different. And too many people, I think, injure long-term their neck if they crunch it in the back when they roll. So just being careful with that, then roll over and do the half circles on the other side. If you wanna do full, yogi's choice. And then let's go ahead and adjust our feet in so that the right leg is over the left. So, we're gonna do shoelace. So this one, if your knees are bothering you, you can take a blanket, put it under anything to lift up a little bit, adjust just if there's any pain. Knees are one of those things, you don't power through them, you don't keep working. If your knees are bothering you, just get out of it. There's other things that, um, that we can do that you can modify, but Ultimately, this would be grounded and straightening your spine, open, open your shoulders. Let's just go ahead and bring the hands up, reaching up, lift the spine, wiggle in if you want. And let's lower down and take the right arm underneath in eagle arms. See if you can melt here. Just begin relaxing here. This is the first step. And if you want to lift the arms up more, which is nice, it helps you feel more activation, more opening up of the ribs and the stomach area, giving room for the digestive organ. So really, you want to do some wiggling while you reach up. Bring that breath in. And exhale everything out. Pressing the tailbone in, supporting the back, lifting. You're melting with your hips, you're lifting up with your arms, and your solar plexus is lifting, heart and solar plexus rising up. So active at the top, reaching up, melting in the hips to the earth. Hold this for five breaths. Feel the support of the muscles around the spine as it lifts, as you strengthen the support of the spine, all of the muscles. See, feel, breathe in all the health and strength. Support of the beautiful posture. Then gently on your exhale, begin folding forward with these people arms. Just hang out where you are. You'll start feeling it maybe more in the right hip or in both hips. Just fold here. And find a place where you can melt here. So you're gonna feel a lot more 
opening activation in the hips as you try to melt. So here's where the yin and that meditation, and that focus really comes in. So don't tip, don't tense up. Just find where you can relax and melt. So if you need to back up to let your body just relax and melt, and then you can move forward as it begins expanding and opening the fascia. Stay with the breath if you need the oxygen. Any props you want to rest on so that you can relax more. <coughs> Sorry, that went down the wrong way. Feel free to unwind and spider finger and hold. <coughs> yep, I swallowed the wrong way. Okay. So. Spider finger, try that and just sink in. Take a blanket, and put it on top of your legs and just rest. Just try to relax. It's as if you're just trying to take a little nap and let everything open. So let's do five breaths here. Next breath, just gently supporting yourself, your fingers coming up with core, dragging them up. We're going to do one more here before we unwind. So let's just take the right hand up and release it behind the back. The shoulder open, reach back with the left hand. See if you can touch fingers. I promise you one side is going to be a lot easier than the other. I start with my easiest side so I can actually touch here. The other side, I can't, but we keep trying. It doesn't mean we don't work it, right? So see wherever you are, just kind of plant the hands in holding, or if you have a towel or something, if you want to grab onto that, I just usually find a place and lock my hands if I can't grip. Lift the chest up. Let the hips melt, staying with that melting, that fascia. And see if you can open up the elbows a little great for the shoulder. And five breath here. Long, slow ones. Maybe looking up helps you lift your chest up. Beautiful ladies. Next inhale, just with, with control, with core, protecting your back as you slowly release the arms, wiggle a little bit, and then begin just releasing the legs. Yes, maybe straighten them out. Ah, nice. You want to bend them and do the Marilyn Monroe twist. Marilyn Asana. <laughs> oh, speaking of Marilyn, I'm subbing for Marilyn today, so I'm honored to have both of you in this 10 o'clock Thursday young class. Thank you. And then let's just go ahead and other side. So this time the left leg is on top, other leg you didn't do. Whichever one you did, do the other one. And go ahead and open the shoulders up. Nice big inhale. Really visualize the breath coming all the way across front and back. The largest part of our lungs is actually in our back. So when you're inhaling, visualize and actually feel the lungs expand in your back. So let's try that nice big 
bring that oxygen out, lock it in there and feel the expansion and the lungs pressing in the back and moving out. Let's exhale, try that again. Inhale. Open up shoulders, give the lungs that nice exercise. Exhale, now flip the hands and bring them up. Pressing shoulders down, reaching up with the spine. Any wiggling you want to do this time? Right hand on top, left under, eagle. So straighten the spine, melt, lower body melts. Feel the core wrapping around the spine. Activation, upper body, bring the arms up, lifting the spine up as you're melting down to earth. We reach up to sky, to God, connected. As above, so below, balancing, aligning, melting hips, reaching up, creating space in that torso, in the lungs, for the digestive organs, for the oxygen, for the heart. So upper body strength is key. It's one of the indicators of longevity, quality, long life. And that's your lungs and heart. So here we're Engaging that as well as opening up hips and supporting the back. A few breaths here before we fold. And now your exhale gently brings you to a nice slow fold. We're gonna take it in steps. So just hang out where you feel that nice healthy challenge. And as you melt in, you'll find more, more space to fold more. So just listen to your body. Tomorrow, if you do it healthy each day, then you'll, you'll keep taking little baby steps forward. You will go back. That's what we want. And sometimes we do go back a little bit, but we won't go back a lot. Now take your fold wherever it feels good, challenging in a healthy way. Keep sinking and melting, feel lower body, hips opening, feel nice, nice stretch in, in the lower body, not too much on the knees though. So just as long as it feels good, like yes, I feel the expansion. If you wanna release the arms and reach out spider fingers, Lowering more, supporting yourself, just melt fully into this for six or seven breaths. Next inhale, go ahead and get the core, reach out, stretch, and then just gently begin dragging fingers all the way up once you get here. The opportunity to just do a nice shoulder shrug up and around. It should feel really good, press down. Lift the chest up, I think that feels wonderful. So this time, let's go ahead, reaching out with the hands, bring that left hand up and over, finding with the right hand. I actually have to see if I can get it. <laughs> I don't have a strap, so well, I don't use the strap. I can just kind of lock it up there. Good, you guys look good. Beth, you see if you can open up the L. Yeah, there. Okay, good, good, good. <sighs> Breathing in here. You feel a little tight. I get a little tight in here on this side, so just continue to relax it. Visualize the oxygen going to that shoulders. You gently just open it up, release it. 
the chest lifting up, maybe bring the glance up. And let's do five nice breath cycles here. Beautiful breaths, ladies. Last couple of breaths, really feel the lengthening, really open up, but melt with your lower body. The next breath, just finding a slow release, shaking the arms, and then unwinding the legs. Wiggle, feet up, lift up chest, Marilyn Asana. <laughs> and take your time when, you know, hang out on one side, maybe twist a little more, explore. Betsy and I were exploring and exploring in yin yang with those different degrees and just seeing what else we can do in a pose. Even if you want to reach over, maybe with your right hand and take a little twist when you. Take your knees to the right and then over to the other side. The left hand holds it, encourages the twists a little more. Let's go ahead and move into tabletop with some transitional things. So, organic C curves, hip rolls. So, feel free to. This is really good. It feels so good on, on your lower back, on your sacrum. So just wiggling in here. Take an inhale, a nice cow. Maybe you put your toes back and press back and really reflexology warming them up. We'll do that as well. Maybe the toes come down for your cat. Really bringing that navel in, stretching the spine. Spine should feel good now. So press that navel, inhale lower, but still keep the core in for cow, but lower the belly, press the shoulders back, lift it up. Navel top, if you need it through cat, yes. And then come into tabletop, take your right leg over behind the left and let's just sit back this way for another nice little hip opener on the side. If you wanna walk your hands over to the right, Go a little more, just working through these hips a little more. Maybe you explore the other side, twisting. Just sweeping the hands slowly, varying degrees, checking it out, see where you can stop at a few degrees and find a way to stretch more here. And then gently coming out of this, if you want to bring that leg up, and down, let's find taking the left across the other way, move back. Thinking in, breathing here, just getting a little different stretch, a little another side of the hips. If you want to walk the hands over to the right, stretch, sink. Walk them over to the other side. Stretch, sink, might feel this a little more in the IT band. So we're working all kinds of different things, exploring in each pose ways to connect deeper stretches. And then walk back to the front and sink. And then gently lifting back up into tabletop. You wanna lift that right leg up and stretch and bring it down. Any wiggling, tuck the toes in. We're gonna do a little toe stretch. A little proper toe stretch. So toes come, sit it on your ankles as best you can. You can always sit on the towel, bolster, anything else. So this should, this is challenging, does not, this doesn't feel good. Let's just face it. But it's super healthy. You just don't want pain, but you know, we're so used to our feet going one way, one way, one way, right? And so this is getting the toes 
all of the body parts connect with hands and feet. So this is giving that counter nice, healthy extension to the toes. Good for toe cramps at night too. Bring in the oxygen. Remembering your mantra. Two more breaths. Sink. One more nice long breath. You can always come out of it whenever you want, you know that. But okay, if you're safe, if you hung in there with me, then gently come out and tap. This should feel glorious. Yay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move into a pigeon. So if you like supine pigeon on your back, you can move toward that if you want to join me in a down dog into regular pigeon. So Pressing for an inhale, exhale, hips up, downward facing dog. Walk it out. Just finding some nice transition movement in downward facing dog. Anything you want to do, if you want to wiggle around in your mat as you bend your knees, if you want to lift your leg up, your right leg up and stretch for a few minutes before we come into pose, a few seconds. And perhaps bend and stack that hip, opening up the hip there, wiggle the foot. So the right leg is stacked maybe, or a three-legged dog. Just explore, keep the core, bring it back up if you are stacked. Oh, now let's take it forward to your nose, just a little activation, maybe come up on your toes. And exhale. <sighs> Inhale, bring it to your right elbow and then let it release down for pigeon. Right leg slides back. Here's where your prop comes in handy. Just sticking that prop wherever it is so your hips are square. You just want to make sure that your hips are square, that everything is in the position so it can do its work when you melt. And then a couple of cascades, two or three. So Spider fingers, shoulders back, chest up. Inhale and exhale, lowering with core. Keep that navel active, chin to chest, bring it up. Inhale, two more times, exhale down. Chin to chest, inhale, bring it up. And come down and melt whenever you're ready. And we'll be here for a couple of minutes. Sleeping swan. Three more breaths.
Next inhale, just place your fingers, spider fingers. Make sure your hips are feeling square, bring your core, lifting your body up. So before you come out of this, there's some options. You can really uh, put your right hand down and support yourself when, yourself when you reach out with your left hand. Make sure you got your core here. So a lot of strength in here. We've been working that good. Your shoulders back. So feel. Now you're activating and then inhale, following your fingers up and around, hanging out at those various degrees, feeling your heart open, shoulders back, and maybe you touch the back of your thigh. Some people want to bring their foot up. Your foot may go into your arm. Wherever you are, you may want to now lift your right hand up. So both hands are balancing, opening up your chest. Maybe you lift your right hand and then turn your body with the arm. So ultimately you can move into mermaid, but any of these is doing the work and creating that expansion in your body, strengthening. When you're done, place the right hand down, follow the left hand back around. Both hands firmly now on the mat, supporting yourself, tuck that back toe in, lift the knee. Wiggle a little bit in, supporting yourself. Lift that leg, so the core. Let's get the muscles in here as you lift yourself up. Press back, three-legged dog. Just any variation of that. You want to stack and open again. From here, lift the leg back up. Just kind of working out that hip and then lower down, downward facing dog. Move the props to the other side, walk it out. And then next inhale, bring that left leg up. Just warm up that side, feel the stretch in the back of the right leg as you open up here with the left leg and then stack it, bend it. Roll the foot, motion is lotion for the joints. Brings in those fluids, literally lotion. Then bring that leg back up, pressing back with the hands, opening up here. Come up on your toes, bring your knees to your nose. Just go challenge, ha. Ah. Bring it back. And then bring it to the left elbow and slowly bring that knee sliding down the forearm into the wrist for pigeon on the left side. Beautiful. Finding the prop, setting yourself up for pigeon. Same thing on this side, preparing to do the cascades. Spider fingers. Inhale, exhale. Then into chest, bring it up with the inhale. And when you get to the top, make sure you open your chest up and squeeze the shoulders back, full snit. Exhale down one more time. Oh, and melt. Just sink in. Let gravity do the work as your fascia expands. That creates room for those muscles to expand like in a sack. So you're stretching that, that net open so the muscles can just grow into that new space, strengthening your body, protecting your bones, keeping your spine erect, beautiful posture, quality of life. It all adds up.
Three more breaths. Next breath, just go ahead and get those fingers spider position. Get your body square, inhale, bring it up. Plant that left hand down. Reach out with the right hand. Feel the core engage. Feel this nice reconnection, reactivation of these energies here, like T-band and all of this. That it all connects together, let's face it. Reach out with the right hand. Inhale, follow the fingers all the way around. Good for the brain too, to follow the fingers, tapping the back leg, perhaps it comes up. This side may be more challenging, it is for me. So wherever you are, just begin there. So you'll feel this a lot in the thigh. Then maybe reaching out with the left hand, keep the core. Open the chest, bring it up, following the fingers. Perhaps they touch, meet, or just wave at the back hand. Ultimately, this pose would go into mermaid. Three breaths here, holding wherever you are. Exhale, release down slowly. Don't let anything shoot out, no, no ricochet. Left hand plants on the mat. Look back at the right hand, follow it all the way around. To the mat, move the prop, pressing down on the hands with power, with control. Tuck this back feet, lift the knee up, knee adjustment, then bring that little leg wing, right? And come back. Oh, yeah. And maybe you want to bend and stack anything you want to do here. Just kind of getting the body back. Oh, from those yin poses. See if you can press the heels back close to the mat and just breathe. <sighs> Pressing the hands, feel the shoulder blades move down the back. Heels to the mat. Equally distributed weight between hands and feet. We're gonna move into Malasana squat. Some people like to jump, it's a yin class, so I'm going to instruct to raise the right leg, stretch, and come up on your tippy toes of your left foot, moving forward, waving the shoulders over the wrists and bring that right foot on the outside of the right hand. Or just get there however you want, from tabletop and bring the leg up, um, blocks, props, whatever you need. Inhale, left foot comes up, balance challenge here. And then slowly bring that on the outside of the left hand, coming into the last in the squat against the wall with blocks with bolsters, ah, make it kind of restorative. <laughs> I'm gonna use my bolster today. Let's just hang out here. Open up the chest, shoulders down. And you can start in just, you know, regular hanging out here and then move into supported or more restorative yogi's choice. But let's just be here for at least a minute. So, you know, you hear people talk about yin from three to five minutes, but minimum a minute. You do get a yin benefit at, at a minute. And then of course, three minutes, five minutes. It's always better, always more. Not always better. Sometimes you don't need to stay in that long, listen to your body, but the fascia from one minute to five is where you get your biggest benefit. Before we come out of this, I'll give you all a, an opportunity to do crow or as we're coming out, if you want to play with balance, even if you can't do it, it's fun to, to play with the balance. So a few more seconds here. And then if you want to 
we can just play for a few seconds with the balance of crow or crane. Akasana, Kakasana, they're similar places. Okay, so maybe just leaning forward, bringing your hands and just playing with the balance of your knees on the, and then come up a little bit, lift a little bit up, like your heels, lift your heels up, right? So your knees come closer on, and then just balance. Try to look forward a little bit and just play, spread your fingers open wide and maybe you can lift your feet here or lift one foot. Good balance, good, good practice. Great for the arms and the upper body too. So just rocking back and forth. And then ultimately you find it, pro, crane, And then let's just come on down to staff for caterpillar. Wiggling around. As Jennifer will say, if you need to move any flesh, so you can sink your tailbone in. Inhale, reach up. Again, feel the core, feel the muscles wrapping around the spine, press the shoulders down. Lifting the spine up with core. So really feel those muscles, straighten the arms. Open the chest. Nice. Lower the shoulders. Good, Joanne. Nice adjustment. That's beautiful. So inhale and then just reach in a hinge. So just hang on in a hinge wherever your hinge is. And just find some relaxation here. And maybe you want to do a little playful back and forth, and then next exhale, if you have a prop or a bolster or a pillow, you may wanna put it on your thighs because we're moving into this yin and caterpillar. So you wanna be able to relax. So this is, yes, Joanne, lots of props because you wanna protect your uh, sciatic nerves. So this is called um, a life stretch, exactly because of the sciatic nerves, which are some of the longest nerves, they go up and down right? You know that you've got issues. I've had issues that I've worked with for two years. So just be very careful, breathe into this. So this pose is super good, super healthy for life nerves. Sciatic nerves. So just resting and sinking wherever you are that it feels good and opening, but not anything that connects with the inflamed area. So back off that if you feel it. And you can completely relax your your muscles, your legs in this position, but keeping the core and maybe even a little cable. So you can do that in here. The core is always good when you're in me so that you're not cranking your back without the support. So just melting with your legs, tailbone in, but keep the navel a little active in here, especially while you're melting at first when it's just a little tight.
One more inhale. And gently come up. Yes. Bring the feet together again and just do a little pace from side to side. We're going to move toward Shavasana. And um, before we do, though, let's go ahead and get on our back and do just a little happy baby before we fall into, uh, roll into, roll out into, just feeling your back, just roll out onto this, the mat. So just feel the whole spine just laying out on the mat as you press your knees closer to the mat, 45 or 90 degree angles, I get my angles. And then roll a uh, rocking from side to side, giving a nice horizontal massage on your spine. And then when you're ready, just finding a way to slide the feet down, arms up, nice big stretch. Let's tense everything in our body, tense all the muscles. Feel the core, feel the glutes, the thighs, maybe point and flex the feet, fists and the hands reaching up, really tense, and then <sighs> hands to your side, feet open a little bit. Maybe your toes come in, one last little thing to kiss or say hi, big toes touch maybe, and then flop your feet out. Adjust your shoulders, wiggling so your chest is fully open. Nice big inhale, and then exhale. <sighs> Inhale and then let your eyes close, your breath releases, you find your natural breath cycle, Shavasana. Next breath begins to bring your awareness back into your body as you feel the tingling in your fingers and toes, your extremities begin to explore small movements. Perhaps you bring your head, hands over your head, reaching up in a stretch for your next breath. And then exhale, bring your knees into your chest, hugging yourself, rocking from side to side. Roll over now to your favorite side for this morning anyway, in fetal position. Take one nice full breath here. And then press your hands into the mat, lifting yourself up to meet me in easy seated. We went a little over. Thank you for, for joining me in class. You ladies are so beautiful. You did so well today. You make me proud. <laughs> Inhale, bring hands up, reaching up. In gratitude, don't forget your mantra. Keep that mantra with you all day today. Hands to forehead and peace. Let's say Om Shanti 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 means peace. So one Om, three Shantis. Nice big breath. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Hands to heart center. Always bring compassion into your heart and release it into the world. And may the light in each one of us always honor the light in the other. Namaste.